Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you for another Jeans and Cowboy Boots video. Today, we are checking out the Levi's 501 Original Straight Cut Jean. This is Levi's first jean ever that they made in 1873 and they really haven't changed it very much. But does it go with cowboy boots? Let's find out. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way before we get into the jeans, this video is sponsored by Chisos Boots. Chisos is a traditionally made boot, except for the fact they have a very innovative insole. It's topped with this leather and it just feels incredible. Also, Chisos Boots focuses on sustainability and conservation using retired dairy cow leather rather than calf skin and they donate portions of sales to the Texas Park and Wildlife Foundation. Plus, Jared Padalecki wears Chisos boots in the new Walker show that you can see on CW. Go to chisos.com to learn more about these awesome boots or you can watch the videos that I've done about them in the past at the links in the description. Now let's try on these Levi's jeans. Huge thanks to Chisos for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I have the Levi's 501 original fit jean on right now. I'm gonna give this a quick rundown so I don't forget about any of the features as we go through this video. All right, so here it is. This is the Levi's 501 original fit jean. This is the quote unquote blue jean that started it all for Levi's. And they released this exact fit in 1873. This is 100% cotton. This model right here, the jeans that I have are made in Mexico. It also has a button fly, which definitely has its disadvantages. It's not coming off fast, guys, if that's something that you need to do. <laughs> and definitely not as fast as a zipper. And they are $60 on the Levi's website. Now let's get into all the different kinds of boots that might or might not go with these jeans. And we're gonna start with the most round and work our way to the most square. All right, so starting out, we have the Ariat Heritage Roper. This is a Roper boot with a Roper toe and a somewhat roper heel. It's a little bit higher than what a roper usually is. I would call this a stockman heel. And as you can see, it doesn't come all the way down to the spur ledge there. It does sort of stop a little bit higher on the boot than some of you might be used to, at least on this particular boot, on this roper here. And we might get into some other models and styles that it will come further down, but on this boot here, it doesn't come all the way down, and it is a little bit of an awkward feel for the roper, I feel like, um, just because when this happens, when the jean stops higher than what some other straight leg jeans do, then that means sometimes the stack might fall into the top of the boot, and it, it gives a little bit of a sloppy look sometimes. So if you have skinny legs and you're not filling out the top of the boot as much like me, then you might run into this problem and it might be a better jean for some more narrow topped boots, more narrow shaft boots, which we will get into later on in the video. So this is what it looks like with a roper boot. I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of this look, um, but the quality of the denim feels great and like I have no complaints about that. It feels like it's gonna break in really well. Oh, one thing that I didn't mention in the rundown is that it is sort of a mid-rise, regular rise jean. I'm sort of a fan of the low rise just for my body type, but it's not uncomfortably high like some other jeans that I've tried in the past. Like with the Wrangler Cowboy Cut, that is pretty high on me and it's kind of uncomfortable. Now let's move on over and try it with another round toe, a Uto Hondo boot. All right, so here we have the Hondo 2670. This has a Uto on it and a two inch heel. It's a little bit less round than what the Roper toe is. And I like this a lot better because it is a taller boot. This boot comes up 14 inches high. So that gives the jean much more space to sort of even out across the top of the boot. The roper was only 11 inches high, so it made it possible for the jean to like sloppily sag into it down low. 
but I don't feel like I'm having that problem with this, so I'm actually digging this look right now. So if you wear higher boots, taller boots, then this might be a good way to go. I'm actually really liking this look. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and of course, all of these boots have their own videos, and you can see them all at the links in the description. Now let's move on over and try it with the Arto, featuring the sponsor today, Chisos. Here we have the medium round toe, or the Arto, with the Chisos number one boot. And this is another short boot. It only comes up about 11 inches tall, similar to what the Ariat Heritage Roper was, except the leather is much better. And it doesn't sag as much into the top because it's not so stiff. Like, the Chisos is such a soft and beautiful leather. So much better than the Ariat, so we're not running into the problems that we saw with that here. Maybe a little bit in the front, but I feel like that's just from me messing with it. It probably would even out throughout the day anyways. Oh, I can actually see it in the screen. It kind of looks kind of uh, noticeable there. When you're looking down at it, it doesn't look so noticeable. But it seems like these jeans, these 501s, aren't gonna work with several different kinds of boots. They seem to work the best with the taller makes, uh, like the Hondo and more narrow boot shafts which we will get into next with the BNV boots featuring a Jato. Okay, so here is the Jato. This is a water buffalo calf boot from BNV Boots with a one and three quarter inch heel. This is also a tall boot coming in at 13 inches tall and my most narrow top boot. So this fits under a lot of different kinds of jeans for me. This works with a lot of slim style jeans as well. And as you can see here, again, just like we saw with the Hondo 2670, it's working great. This is another great look. And one of the things that I like about jeans like this that stops so high above the heel on the boot is that the fact that that heel gets to be shown off to the world. I feel like on some of the boots like this with an underslung cowboy heel, or Cuban heel, it just looks great if everybody can see it, right? So, I am a fan of this look. Let me know what you think. This is one of my favorite boots to wear. I wear it a lot. And now, let's take it to a little bit more square and try these Levi 501 jeans with a snip toe. All right, here we have the Yeehaw Cowboy Cayman Tail Black Cherry Boot. And again, here it looks pretty good. It isn't as tall as the BNV or the Hondo. I believe this comes up to about 12 inches tall. It is a little bit more wide, but it seems to be working pretty okay. In fact, I really like this look as well. I think it's a very clean look. It shows off a lot of the boot, which is kind of cool for a boot like this that you want to show off. So, this is a good look for sure. At least I think so. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Snip toe, great. Sometimes if you wear uh, too baggy of jeans, then the snip toe really doesn't look good. It's more for like a square toe. And if you wear a slimmer jean with a snip toe, it really makes the boot shine. It really brings the boot out in the world but the square toes don't go as well with a jean like this in my experience, so I'm kind of worried about trying that square toe, which we will get to soon, but first we have to try a French toe. All right, here we have the French toe Cayman Belly from Boulet in a chocolate color, and I think this looks great. Again, here it is sort of a taller boot at around 12 inches, it is a little bit more narrow and does have a deeper scallop here, which is what this is called. And it makes it so that it fits pretty well underneath those jeans. And I think it looks great. This is another boot that you would want to show off as much as possible if you can. So I feel like this is a great look 
because the gene stops up so high and I still do get a little bit of that stacking look, I think this is, a, I think this is another good look for sure. And now the boot that I'm most worried about with these jeans, the wide square toe with the double stitched welt. All right, let's keep it rolling with the Cayman. This is a Cayman Tail wide square toe cowboy boot from JW Boot Company. And it does actually look halfway decent. I was a little bit worried about this because the way that the jeans are cut, it sort of slims down towards my ankle. And oftentimes, because I'm such a slim dude, the wide square toe can look really silly, looking wider than what my leg actually is. And that toe shape just really kind of flares out at the end there. And it can look a little bit goofy, especially on jeans like this sometimes. But I feel like this is doing a very good job, actually. I'm kind of surprised. This also has um, some fins here from the Cayman tail on the back, on the counter. And the jeans are able to stop way early, just like they have been on all these other boots, and you can sort of see that, which you wouldn't usually see on a lot of other jeans that we've tried on this channel. So the fact that you get to see that, the heel, and the majority of this beautiful red boot is kind of nice. So I'm kind of surprised about how these jeans are working with the wide square toe, but let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, what your favorite pairing was with these Levi 501 dark stonewash jeans and what jeans you would like to see next on this channel. Down in the comments, I'm in there, so I want you to be too. Definitely like this video as well. Huge shout out to Chisos, and that's another reason why you should like this video because it is awesome that brands like Chisos are here to support small creators like myself on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace. The 501 Jeans works with some boots, but not all. If you find the right combination though, you could be standing tall. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. I got a Chisos video right up here if you're interested in watching that. If not, there's a video right down there about the truth behind the Jesse James folk song. I'll see you around. Thanks so much for watching.